Jesus said in the last days, before I come, there will be wars and rumors of wars. Now, we know there have been wars in every generation, from generation to generation. We ask, in light of wars and rumors of war, is war ever justified? Is there ever a just cause or a reason for war? We face issues in our generation of faith and freedom. And then there are the issues in uh, every generation, certainly ours, of crime and punishment. As in the last days, lawlessness will increase. I, I don't want to discourage you, but things are not getting better in our world. We've been dealing with issues of the sanctity of life and sanctity and sacredness of marriage. And now our government here in the United States, the liberals in uh, our government are proposing an Equality Act, which is not an Equality Act, but rather it uh, imposes upon the free rights of those who oppose homosexuality. People talk about the separation of church and state as though it is in our Constitution. The phrase separation of church and state is not in the U.S. Constitution. Uh, God and the founders never intended for our God to be separated from the people. God and government are clearly connected because God, as we're about to see, establishes and ordains all governments, including our own. The phrase separation of they're written by Thomas Jefferson years ago. But how often have we heard, don't bring your politics into the pulpit. We would have never had a revolution in America, an American revolution, if pastors and ministers had not stood for freedom in that generation. When you say don't bring your politics into the pulpit, then you would have to exclude the Apostle Paul because what we're about to re read is politics from Paul in the pulpit. And you know, politics matter. And you know why politics matter? Politics matter because policies matter. And policies matter because people matter. And so God's Word addresses faith and freedom, politics, in the pulpit. And so beginning in verse 1 of Romans 13, let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist, that is, authorities, have been instituted 